The Crew Motorfest has very recently just launched. This is the ultimate beginner's guide. If you're struggling to get your head round how to do races, what races you should be doing, how the leveling up works, how XP works, just all the basic beginner's guide stuff, this guide is gonna be perfect for you. That's something I noticed with the crew, it does sort of just chuck you in and doesn't really tell you everything you need to know about everything, so I'm sure that's probably why you've clicked on this video. Jumping straight into the game, you will more than likely be chucked straight into free roam within the crew motorfest, when you are straight away free to go and do whatever you want, but you may be lacking the cars to even bother doing so. So let me just talk you very quickly through the menus and where everything you're going to be doing within the crew is located. The pause menu has absolutely everything you need. There isn't an auto show per se. If you're familiar with Forza Horizon terms, everything's just done through the menus. To buying cars, selecting cars, upgrading cars, starting races, it's all done through the pause menu. We can see we have shop, profile, activities and map. Now map is self-explanatory, you open the map and you can look about. You can't fast travel anywhere, that is a perk to be unlocked later on, which I will explain later. Shop, profile and activities is where everything is located. So within the shop you can view the complete list of cars that you are available to buy and it will show you how many credits you need to buy these cars. Within the shop, you can also customize your cars, but you can't upgrade them through there, only customize. So this goes to changing the color, adding a livery, changing the visuals, which are like body kits, tire color, and all the fancy colorful stuff is in vanity. These vanities can be purchased with crew credits, which is a microtransaction currency, or you can earn the crew credits within the game through other sort of challenges but you don't earn as much as if you were to buy them with real life money there are consumables now you will need these consumables which are just purchasable with normal credits to sort of re-roll some of the effects on car parts which we'll touch on again later now the profile section of the menu this is where you can customize your driver where within that you can change your avatar you can add a title which is it's basically like sort of like a badge you will unlock special badges and titles so doing missions and races and stuff like that photo gallery which has the photos you've taken then there's legend points now you will get legend points as you're playing the game you'll notice them as rewards Awards, and you can assign these legend points to specific categories for example an XP boost or a credit boost if you're doing a bit of credit grinding you can assign your legend points to credits and it will give you a bit of a credit boost and if you finish doing that you can unassign them from credits and assign them to something else mailbox that is where you'll receive the mail you know the community notes and rewards and stuff like that now the cars section of the profile this is where you pick a car so if you're driving around and you want to swap into another car this is where you do it you go to car you go to profile you go to cars and you just click on the car and then click drive but this is also where you upgrade a car as well with different car parts now the way the upgrade system very quickly works as you're doing races as you're doing sort of stunts around the map doing challenges you will unlock at random random car parts for your specific type of vehicle so if you're in a street tier vehicle you will unlock maybe a common gearbox or a rare gearbox or a sort of an you know what i mean and that's where you apply them to your car and then the pro settings is where you basically tune your car now the activities section is where all the magic happens now it can be a little bit confusing so this is how i'm going to explain it at the top you have what's new you can basically ignore this top row it just has what's sort of new for that week or that month and that's where you access the main stage which we will touch on in a minute Below that you have live competition. Now live competition, all these four here are mostly the online stuff, the multiplayer stuff. So if you're not really much of a multiplayer person, you can ignore all these. So if you ever see any challenges that mention a grand race or a summer contest, this is where you need to go and bear in mind these are multiplayer races. At the end you have custom show. This is where you can, it's basically a car meet within the main motorsport festival. And this is where you can apply your car to be added to this car meet and you can sort of enter the car meet show where other players will vote for the best looking and the best upgraded car in the area and you'll get prizes based on however many votes you get for example so that's what the custom show is and the custom show theme 
always varies depending on what the theme is that week. Now, every week slash month in Motors Fest, there will be a different theme added to it. At the moment, it's all about American muscles, the playlists, you know, the custom show, it's all about American muscle. So the car meet competition is all American muscle cars. Now, playlists is where the magic happens. This is sort of the main core of the game campaign, I would say, are playlists. Now, the playlists are very theme specific. You have a sort of a Jap Japanese theme one. You have a Porsche theme one. You have the Explore Hawaii. They're sort of just different themes to do. You can do any playlist you want straight off the bat, providing that you have the requirements for it. Some of the playlists, you might need a Lamborghini, you might need a Mustang, etc., etc. Some of them, you don't need any requirements and you can just go and do. And these races or these playlists will consist of the following. For example, this Japan playlist has seven events, which are basically races. It could be a drag race, it could be a drift, event it can be any kind of event slash race and then you have side activities now these side activities are sort of like PR stunts compared to the Forza world so there'll be speed traps sort of danger areas you know sort of mini speed zone kind of things that are just scattered around the map they're not actual races they're just mini activities all within this playlist now there is also a third tab which are challenges now challenges only unlocks after you've completed all of the events so for a playlist i would get all of the races done off the bat complete all the events and then you will unlock the challenges tab now this is where you will notice that there are multiple types of xp within the game you'll notice there is blue xp green xp and red xp now the blue xp you will gain from doing the events the races these here the green XP you will gain from doing the side activities and the stuff like that. Sort of just driving about casually will get you the green XP, side activities. The red XP you get from doing most of the live competitions like the summer contest, the grand races, the demolition royale, sort of the online stuff. So there isn't really one level that you will have as a character really. You'll have a blue, a red and a green XP that you level up depending on what kind of missions you do in. Now, the beginning of the game, there are sort of two main unlocks to get past the tutorial of the game. One of which is unlocking the main stage, which you do after completing three playlists. So complete the Japan playlist, complete the Porsche playlist, then maybe complete complete the Hawaii playlist. It will take a bit of time. There's a good 20 to 25 races there. You don't need to do the side activities or the challenges, just complete the playlist events. And that will unlock you the main stage, which is basically once you've reached the main stage, that's sort of the introduction slash tutorial of the game over. Now, the main stage will show you how each of these different color XP levels work. In the main stage, you will see a section for the blue level, the red level or orange, I suppose it is, and then green. So if you want to work on getting the rewards for the blue section, and you can view the rewards by clicking the yellow button when hovering over it, then go and do the blue events. And if you click on them, it will take you to them. It will set the routes and tell you what to do. You'll notice that there are only four levels per section. Now, I'm going to presume that every week or every month when the sort of the season changes over to a new theme. These will reset, you won't lose any of your rewards, just this level will be reset and you can start again and gain these sort of XP. Now, as you can see here, I reached, I fully maxed out the blue playlist experience, the blue one here, I got to level four. And when you do that, that is when you officially become a motorsport legend. And once you do that, any XP you get from then on will level up the yellow XP, which is the Motorfest XP legend down here on the main stage. And there are more rewards to be gained here. So if you just want to work on the blue one, you can do that. You'll still level up your yellow thing. And once you complete the green one as well by doing these side activities, taking photos, doing the photo challenges and stuff like that, that will also count towards the yellow legend motorfest xp you can see that there's 21 days left on this so this page will all reset with a brand new theme once the 21 days are over at the moment it's american muscle power next week it will be american pop culture then american dust and then american racing so you've really got a 
it's like Forza Horizon 5. I'm going to compare it to that. It's like the festival playlist on there. On the activities page, everything below the all playlists, you have the challenges, which are the same playlists as the one above, like the Japan playlist. This is just the Japan challenge. It just takes you straight to the playlist. Everything below that is all the same. It's just all of the playlists just categorized. So you can just ignore everything below challenges if you want. It's just, it looks a bit cluttered and I can see why people would get confused about it. You'll notice that when you go to the challenges, you'll see that they give you blue XP, but the side activities will give you green XP. I'm sure you know what I mean now with which ones they apply to in terms of XP and leveling up. I highly recommend you do the Hawaii festival first, or at least one of the top three, one of the first three you do, because that will gift you a boat and a plane, which means you can use the quick change ability within free roam. If you click down the right analog stick, you will be able to instantly swap into a boat or a plane, depending on if you have one. So if you do that Hawaii playlist, you'll have some, and it means you can get about really quickly before you unlock fast travel. Now, fast travel, you unlock through completing 10 playlists. So the main stage you get after three playlists, fast travel you'll get after 10 playlists. And it seems like fast travel will be the sort of the last main feature you will unlock throughout the game. At this point, you'll have a couple of playlists complete. You'll have a load of challenges you can do, and you'll really just be able to free roam about and just do whatever challenges pop up. You may encounter treasure. Now, if your map starts beeping, going boop, boop, Boop. that means you're getting closer to treasure. Now, the closer you get to it, the faster it will beep. Once you find it, you can hold A to open the treasure chest and you'll get some XP towards the green, I think. I think it's the green you'll get XP towards. Now, something else you might be struggling with and that is claiming rewards. Now, claiming rewards is one of the only things you can't do through the main menu. Pause menu, if you completed a playlist and they have a reward ready for you, you need to go back to where you started the playlist near that container. That is where it will gift you the reward that is waiting for you. And with the challenges and side activities and stuff like that, you need to go, or at least the challenges, sorry, you need to go to the pause menu, go to the activity, go to the playlist, whatever you've just done, and you need to hold A to claim the reward there. While you do the first three playlists before you unlock the main stage, you won't be able to claim any of the rewards that you have until you get the main stage unlocked. Then you'll be able to claim everything that's been waiting for you. I think the main struggle at the beginning of Motorfest is just getting them three playlists out of the way so you unlock the main stage, you can see a little bit more about what's going on and then you can you can notice what you want to work towards. Do you want to work towards the green XP or the blue XP or the orange XP? Once you unlock the main stage, you'll be able to figure that out. And then you can just go through all the challenges you've got, all the side activities. Hope this kind of makes sense. If you're struggling with anything in Modefest, pop a comment down below and I will try to help out. Leave a like if you've enjoyed and I'll see you all later.